highly anticipated all new KTM RC range. KTM's race DNA in a sports bike for the street. This is not merely a visual update. This is a re-evaluation of all the major componentry of the motorcycle, but also, like in the world of racing, we've gone and looked underneath the fairings at all those small details that find you the hundreds and thousands of a second on the racetrack. These three bullet points summarize the key focus points of the all new KTM RC range. Grand Prix inspired design. We not only took design cues from our KTM RC16, we also took aerodynamic learnings in consideration when building this motorcycle. Race the Rive chassis. Our research and development team and motorsport team work hand in hand together and we've taken our learnings from racing and transferred it into this motorcycle. Technology powerhouse. Technology you would expect from a mid-class motorcycle and far surpassing what the Lightmate segment has to offer. Grand Prix inspired design. What better place to draw inspiration than at the pinnacle of motorcycle racing and with our KTM RC16. With the entire RC range, we offer two colors as an option. And with the range topping RC390, it's clear that we drew inspiration from our MotoGP team with that Atlantic blue and iconic orange colors. So it's not just the colors we've taken from our motorsport teams. We've completely redesigned the front of the motorcycle taking inspiration and learnings from the aerodynamics of our Grand Prix race machines. By having a large, clean front surface, we can now displace a large amount of air, but in a controlled manner. Using CFD technology, we have mapped out the airflow around the motorcycle, and by using the surface on the front, we can create a clean air bubble around the rider, reducing drag and improving overall top speed. With the larger surface area of the front fairing, it helps you achieve those higher top speeds and also covers you from the environment around you. With computational fluid dynamics, we feed data into a computer and we look at the effect of different fluids on different surfaces. That way, we can really fine tune the aerodynamics of the motorcycle. After we've achieved this, we take the motorcycle and we put it into a wind tunnel and we get the optimum aerodynamics from a bike. Whilst mapping out the airflows around the motorcycle, we could plan in how we wanted air to enter the front of the motorcycle and exit out the sides and where we wanted the cooling to take effect. By fine tuning this process we could make sure that the hot air from the radiator in the engine is diverted as best as possible away from the rider. So when riding in a hot or urban environment this keeps the rider cool, feeling fresh and ready to race at all times. A lot of our customers like to ride their motorcycle from their house to the racetrack. That often leads to a bit of a problem. You have things like rear number plate and your mirrors on the motorcycle. Most track day owners won't allow you to ride around the track with your mirrors out. And luckily with the model year 22 RC range you can now fold your mirrors in for those unique track day experiences or when you need to get to it through a tight spot on the road. One of our brand pillars at KTM is purity. And when we had to design a bracket that held the front fairing and light to the frame, we decided to take that into consideration, making it as pure as possible and as aesthetically appealing as possible. For the front bracket, we've gone for a two-part system, the closest to the rider being cast aluminium and closest to the light being composite plastic. When we looked at the tank, we decided to completely redesign the shape of the tank and also the size of the tank. We went from a 9.5 litre to a 13.7 litre fuel tank. This means for the everyday rider or the endurance racer, you can get more mileage before you have to stop for the next fuel station or pit stop. To achieve such an increase in tank capacity, we had to re-evaluate the design from the previous model. On the last generation, we had the electronics package up front, so battery, main ECU, and the tank, then further back between the rider's legs. But here we've reversed that we've moved the electronics between the rider and the fuel tank up front. This allowed us to produce a wider fuel tank. So one, it's more visually impressive, but two, could also hold more fuel. This also holds more weight over the front of the motorcycle on a full tank, which improves handling. By moving the electronics to the rear of the tank area, we've managed to improve the packaging. This has allowed us to narrow the back end of the tank, improving the ergonomics for the rider, but also improving the reach for the rider's legs to the ground as well. Being such a ready-to-race company, we know the importance of making the rider and the bike as one. We've changed the surface area where the rider's legs go. We've tried to make it as smooth as possible with no high points and no bumps. 
This means when you change direction from left to right or moving around on the motorcycle, you have a nice big smooth area. The smooth surface means consistency and that's what riders are looking for when they're hunting those extra millimetres, that tight apex, looking for that inside line. A key focus for us when designing the new RC range was completely redevelop not only the rider seat but also the passenger seat. When designing these seats, we had three key focus points in mind. Our first point was to visually make both rider and passenger seat look a lot better. Secondly, improve the comfort of both seats. And thirdly, improve the active riding dynamics. So what does this mean and how have we achieved it? First of all, for the visuals, we've used an Alcantara style material and added some distinctive RC branding. For comfort, we've doubled the foam thickness. So this dramatically changes the comfort for the rider and for the pillion. But despite doubling the foam thickness, we've managed to achieve the same seat height as the outgoing model. Active riding dynamics. We've completely revised the shape of the seat. So for the rider, there's a better contact when moving around. And also with the Alcantara material, it gives a better grip. So even in wet conditions, the ride can feel like they're in control. Rider feel is of the utmost importance to us. What we've done is we've completely redesigned both rider and passenger foot pegs, making them lighter and also increasing the surface area. The shifting mechanism was also revised to improve feeling when changing gears. And for then, for the real racer who's pushing his bike to the limits here and going for the extreme lead angles, we've also changed the foot plates on the, the brake and the gear lever itself. These are now foldable, so if they make contact with the track surface, they can fold back and not disrupt the rider's flow. Race the Rive chassis. When you look at the tail end of the new RC range, we've reduced the rear bodywork as much as possible for a sharp look and also showing the redesigned steel trellis frame. One of our fundamentals that we use across our entire racing portfolio is the use of steel chromoly frames. This allows us to push this technology to the limit and transfer the information into our production motorcycles. Chrome Molly steel frame is the backbone of the motorcycle. It holds everything together. And here we wanted to reduce the weight as much as possible, but also improve the rider feeling. So to make the bike lighter, we strategically remove material. There are many steel brackets on the frame to hold things such as the battery and other electronics. But if they weren't necessary, we removed them, used different materials and repositioned them elsewhere. And on our mission to make the bike lighter, we evaluated every gram of material across the frame. And stiffer doesn't always mean better. Here we wanted to strategically place more flex into the frame to improve the, the handling of the motorcycle. One example of this was to put more flex into the frame near the headstock, and this was to improve handling. By doing this, when the rider is banked over on the race circuit, carrying full lean angle, suspension working very hard, the frame itself can act as a type of suspension flexing slightly and moving. This allows the rider to hold their line consistently despite variations in the track surface. Also new for this model year is a bolt-on subframe. This has benefits in terms of weight, but also with contrasting colour to the main frame has a striking visual appearance. This new design setup of the reduced weight main frame and the bolt-on subframe, we've achieved the weight saving of one and a half kilograms. A key focus for us was to inspire from our racing team and build the new RC range to be really competent on the racetrack. For that, we've done most of our testing on a racetrack because it's in a controlled environment. Yet, a lot of our customers won't only ride the motorcycle on the racetrack. So, in that, we had a situation where we wanted best of both worlds. Good racetrack performance and fantastic everyday road condition use. At KTM, we have a, a unique development process where we build bikes for racers, by racers. And this doesn't just mean our motorsport influence, changing the design direction of the motorcycle, but even our R&D team is made up of racers and ex-racers. These people are motorsport passionate at heart. So despite having to develop a street bike further and improve its street functionality over the outgoing generation, there's an underlying desire to improve the bike's track performance as well. And so a lot of the development time was spent on track, making this motorcycle more and more capable to bring those lap times down. Both RC125 and RC390 are fitted with 43mm upside down open cartridge WP Apex front forks. For both RC125 and RC390, we've separated the compression and the rebound functionality. For the RC390, you also have the possibility to change the compression and rebound individually. On the left fork, you can change the compression with 30 clicks. On the right fork, you can change the rebound with 30 clicks. The rear shock absorber of the RC390 
also allows you to change the preload and the rebound by five clicks. A key focus for us was drastically improving the riding dynamics of the motorcycle. When we looked at the wheels, we realized we could drastically reduce the weight of the wheels. Whilst reducing the weight of the wheels, we also looked at redesigning the wheel and visually making the wheel look different. To achieve this, there's a complex and multi-stage process done by our engineers, and it starts with a computer. The absolute values the stresses and loads that these wheels have to undergo are put into a software, which then, with the limits it's given, will come up with a design. This bionic design, as we call it, is very strange looking, but it gives us a, our starting point for how we want to proceed. And it also means it shows where material is needed and where material is not. Our designers and the engineers will then work together to reshape this design until we have something that we can work with, but knowing that it is stripped back and as pure as possible. And the final outcome, one, a distinctive and sporty looking wheel design, but also a huge weight saving. 1.7 kilos on the front and 1.7 kilos on the rear has been lost, which is about a 30% weight saving over the outgoing model. This, in turn, drastically improves the handling and feeling of the motorcycle. So to further weight optimize the front of the motorcycle, we've utilized the hollow axle. This means we're just using the material we really need to without sacrificing on torsional stiffness or strength. A big focus for us was improving the handling, also improving the aerodynamics which translated in a higher top speed. With this in mind, we also had to increase the braking power of the motorcycle. For this we've gone for a Barbara 4-piston radially mounted front caliper with a 320mm front disc and on the rear a single piston caliper with a 230mm rear disc. Visually, the biggest change on the brakes is the front brake disc. We've removed the inner carrier and bolted the braking surface to the wheel itself. This has a huge advantage in terms of weight, and here we've saved 800 grams on the front wheel. We've also improved the rear disc as well, and here we've saved a further 160 grams. So all in all, almost a kilo in weight just in brake discs. An all new GP inspired upper triple clamp has been redesigned to accommodate the clip-on style handlebars. This allows the rider to choose between two positions varying in 10 millimeters in height. Technology Powerhouse. With over 320 World Championships, I think it's fair to say that we have credibility when it comes to racing. Majority of these championships were won with single cylinders. For the RC range, we've gone for a state-of-the-art, liquid-cooled, single-cylinder, four-stroke engine with twin overhead camshafts with carbon-coated cam followers and four valves. For 2022, we've made some small but instrumental changes to the engine and fuel injection system. First and foremost, the engines are now Euro 5 compliant, meeting the latest emissions regulation standards. One of the key changes we've made is increasing the volume of the airbox. We've done this by approximately 40%. This means more air is fed to the engine and gives us better flexibility in terms of engine mapping. And by adding ambient sensors, it's more accurate too. By doing so, we've increased the torque output of the engine, but we've also changed the torque curve itself. This has improved the rideability and the engine characteristic all round. To bring the new RC range in line with the entire KTM lineup, we redeveloped the front headlight, meaning that distinctive LED KTM look. The RC390 and RC125 both now have a distinctive LED headlight. The functionality is greatly improved over the outgoing models, with a much improved beam pattern, brightness and visibility for other road users. In addition to the headlight, we've also integrated LED running lights along the side of the fairing, which also integrate the LED indicators. The LED brake light also seamlessly integrates into the new sharp design on the rear of the bike. The entire RC range is a technological powerhouse and has technological features that you would expect from a mid-weight motorcycle. All the models feature ABS. This supports the rider when they have to brake in unexpected circumstances or on varying road conditions. But we also want to support riders that are out having fun too. And so, all bikes also feature Supermoto ABS. This does multiple things. This allows the rider to disengage the ABS on the rear wheel, allowing them to slide the bike and back it into a corner. This also allows the rider to brake heavily on the front without the front ABS kicking in when the bike starts to pitch, because it knows the rider is in a sporty circumstance and is pushing the bike harder than they typically would on the road. The range topping RC390 is also fitted with further electronic features. A 3D IMU which takes roll, pitch and yaw into account. And thanks to this we could add 
motorcycle traction control and cornering ABS. We don't know, always know what lies around the next corner and so cornering ABS supports our rider when they enter an unforeseen circumstance or the road conditions vary. The 3D IMU, the Bosch ABS pump modulator and wheel speed sensors will work together in tandem to analyse what the rider's demands are and what the road conditions will allow. So should the rider need to apply the brakes heavily mid-corner, the ABS modulator will apply the right pressure to the calipers so the bike is not disturbed and the wheels do not lock up, keeping the rider on his line and travelling through the corner at a safe speed. Similar to cornering ABS, motorcycle traction control uses a combination of the ride-by-wire throttle system, the 3D IMU and the wheel speed sensors to regulate the amount of power delivered to the rear wheel. So should the rider ask for more than what the road conditions will allow at a certain lean angle, the power will be regulated and allow the rider to accelerate with optimum traction out of the corner. To go alongside the improved torque output of the RC390, we've also used a ride-by-wire throttle system. This gives us finer adjustment in terms of fuel injection for better rideability, but also allows us to use advanced riding aids. One of these is Quick Shifter Plus. This allows the rider to change through the gears clutchless. So when on the throttle, the rider can kick his way up through the gearbox without losing drive, and equally, when braking hard, he can downshift with the throttle blipping itself. Both RC125 and RC390 are fitted with a TFT dash. This means all this information gets fed through to the rider in color and in a way that it's easily understandable. Thanks to the TFT dash, we were also able to include KTM My Ride. This means that the rider can receive incoming calls or switch through a playlist and listen to some music. The RC range is now a solid platform for people that want to power through their commute or take to the racetrack. But like our MotoGP stars, not every rider is the same and setup is everything. And so we offer a complete and diverse range of KTM power parts for customers to fine tune their motorcycle. The design intent of the motorcycle can also be matched with our range of KTM power wear, which gives riders the best possible clothing to get the most out of themselves and their machine. Just to recap what the all new RC range is all about, it's KTM's race DNA in a sports bike for the street. Grand Prix inspired design, race derived chassis, and it's a technology powerhouse. For more information, we suggest that you visit an authorised KTM dealer or visit www.ktm.com for more information.